Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Don Pablito was a 65-year-old man who'd worked for more than 10 years in the cleaning area of a company. He mopped floors, washed toilets, and cleaned offices. He'd not yet retired because he felt up to it and had the strength to continue working. His wife, Laura, had been with him all his life since they were married at age 20. His children had already married and left home. Don Pablito had seen executives in his offices for years, dressed very elegant in suits and ties. And he always wanted to have a position like that and have a computer. But life did not give him the opportunity to study. He had to work since he was a child and his dreams had not yet materialized. Don Pablito had grown up in a rural area where the main activity, both for young people and adults, was working in the fields. The region was eminently banana and was practically the area where the fruit was produced the most. Therefore, it became the center and nerve of the country's exports in this area. Pablito's parents had owned land, but the lady became seriously ill when the boy was small and they had to sell it to save his life. When the lady got better, they still had some money left, but after six months, it was over, and they were practically on the street. So the boy's father had to go to work in the fields. The payment he received was insufficient. So when the woman recovered, she decided to also go into the banana plantations with Pablito. The boy, despite the fact that he was small, was very insightful and learned how to work in that place, and little by little, he began to help his mother. With both of his parents working, the boy was no longer hungry, and after so much insisting on the plantation manager, he agreed to allow the child to earn a salary as well. This small family was used to the rhythm of life they led, and with their son's work, they completed the income to be able to live with dignity. However, when a plague fell on the banana crops, they almost completely lost production. In that region, there was a shortage, and the economy of the families collapsed. Pablito's parents decided that the best thing was to emigrate to the city in search of new horizons. The boy's mother had certain fears because she did not know anyone. However, the Lord told him that in life, you have to risk to win. With a lot of luck, they managed to sell the house they had. They gathered up their essential things, and in an old cart pulled by his horse Pegasus, they left for the city, which was about 50 kilometers away. With the money they had, they were able to buy a fairly modest house and the lady began to offer her fast sewing services. Pablito's father looked for a job as a bricklayer, and the boy followed in his footsteps. Again, Pablito became involved in adult work to bring more income to his home. And after a year, that family was already living in good conditions. Pablito never had the opportunity to attend school, and when he turned 16, the construction master where he worked with his father invited him to attend night school where he learned to read and write. There he completed primary school and felt satisfied because he could already read the advertisements that he found on the street and he enjoyed reading the newspapers a lot. The years went by and he continued working in construction. And in a project contracted by the municipality, he met Rosalinda, a very handsome and hardworking young woman who sold street food. And every day she came to offer breakfast and lunch. Pablito fell madly in love with that girl who already had a child and that was not well seen by the young man's mother. However, he made it very clear to her that he didn't care because he really loved her. Pablito built a small house in the courtyard of his parents' property, and there he settled with Rosalinda and her son. A year later, the girl gave birth to Roberto, their son. The parents of the hard-working boy were very happy having children in the house and never made a distinction between his grandson and the son that Rosalinda had before. Well, they gave both of them the same affection. Pablito made an effort so that the children could educate themselves. And with Rosalinda's support, he got them to go to college. The oldest graduated from accountant and the second from business administration. Pablito's parents died and he and Rosalinda were left alone in that house because their children had already taken their path, each one. When Pablito was 50 years old, he did not have the same energy to work in construction. So the engineer in charge of the project where she was spoke to her husband about employing him in the company which was a prestigious law firm. 
They hired him for the position of cleaner, and on a daily basis he did his work with incredible enthusiasm. He was very detailed and kept everything very clean and in order. He earned the appreciation of the boss because he was a tireless worker and, above all, very collaborative with his colleagues. If someone needed to buy something and couldn't go out, he would go out and take it. He made them coffee and tended to them as far as he could, even if it wasn't part of his duties. Don Pablito never had conflicts with anyone, and the boss trusted him so much that he was the only one who had keys to his office. Don Pablito only had three months left to turn 15 at that company and retire. When one of the lawyers called him and told him that he would lend him the computer every day so he could watch videos on the internet. During his lunch break, the humble old man enjoyed the jokes and other types of entertainment that the man made available to him. One afternoon, the boss asked Don Pablito to prepare all the logistics for a very important meeting. Well, the next day, he started the most memorable trial of that law firm and was preparing the strategy. The boss took charge of the case directly and brought together the other lawyers to delegate the work they had pending to them. After that meeting, the boss shut himself up to prepare the arguments for the trial. Around 7 p.m., he left the office with a visibly tired face and accompanied by the man who was lending Don Pablito the computer. Once the boss had left the building, he approached Don Pablito, who was about to close everything down, and told him that he needed a document that the boss had left on the desk, and that he please go and get it. Don Pablito hesitated for a moment, but the man told him how he could distrust him, that he was simply going to complete the important job the boss had, and that for contributing, he was going to ask for a salary increase and a computer assigned to him, so he could see his videos. Pablito entered the boss's office and handed the document to the man. He closed everything and went to his house. He told his wife, Rosalinda, what had happened, and she, very concerned, told him that perhaps he had acted badly. But he replied that the lawyer had always been very good to him and that he had promised him a salary increase and a computer to watch videos. The next day at six in the morning, the boss was already in the office fuming. When Pablito came in to clean, he told him that he was fired for fraud and for being unfair. The owner of the law firm, who was his opponent in the important trial, sent him a photograph of the folder and said, I have your strategy in my hands and you are finished. Immediately, the boss went to check the security cameras and saw that the only person who had entered and left with the folder in his hands was Don Pablito. That man fully trusted the old man and was very disappointed. Don Pablito wanted to explain what happened, but the man did not let him. Crying, Don Pablito went to collect his belongings, and when he was about to leave, he returned to the boss's office, who was already a little calmer, looking for a solution to the problem, and he received it. Boss, excuse me, I have never wanted to hurt you. Eurisha lawyer asked me to bring him the documents that you left in the folder he had on your desk, but I thought that if you had wanted to give them to him, you would have, made personally. For that reason, I decided to pick up the papers that I had thrown in the trash and put them in the folder. The ones that you had, I put behind the armchair. The chief jumped out of his chair and went to get the documents that the man had hidden. He hugged the old cleaner because he had saved him from the betrayal. Well, the papers that he delivered contained allegations that he himself had rejected. The chief immediately sent for Eurisha, but he had not arrived, as he was already installed in the other law firm for which he did spy. The trial began in the afternoon and lasted about a week. Pablito's boss won it, which meant a great economic triumph and, above all, a great deal of prestige. Well, the opposing firm collapsed, and the traitorous lawyer was unemployed in a matter of two weeks. After that triumph, the boss sent for Don Pablito and effectively granted him a very important salary increase and gave him a laptop as a gift so he could watch the videos he wanted, both in his free time and at his house. Three months after all that, the traitorous lawyer came to the offices dirty and drunk to yell at Don Pablito that he had deceived him, and the humble man only replied, "'You wanted to take advantage of my ignorance.' But you forgot that I am a man who reads, and he did not remember the wise saying that the devil knows more by old than the devil. Well, friends, that's where today's story has come. Hoping it's always been to your liking. We invite you to give us a like, leave us your comment, share on social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate that notification bell so that you're always notified when we have new material and do not miss our stories. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.